It's Groundhog Day, and this guy woke up and saw his shadow, which means we have to wait six more weeks till spring. Another thing happening in six weeks, though, is the first preview of the phenomenal new musical Groundhog Day on Broadway. We're here at New 42nd Street Studios to meet the stars. There's nothing more depressing than a small town, USA, and small don't come much smaller than Puxitania Groundhog Day. Andy Carl, Groundhog Day, it's happening. Excited? They made the posters and everything. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I was I was always nervous because uh, we did it in London. It was such a big hit over there, and you saw it. You were over there. Um, but it's that sort of added pressure of, like, how is it going to come over here and be just as big of a hit? And work, But working with this cast and working with the creatives again, I'm so excited to get this on stage and show people and, and have a good time. Danny, Groundhog Day all came from your brain, didn't it? You wrote this movie. That's correct. And now you're writing the musical. It's crazy. It, well, it seemed to make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> wanting to write it as a musical, wanting to revisit the material and, and hear it sung. That was on my mind from very, very early on after the movie came out. This is an exciting show, isn't it? It is. I love it. I mean, I was a fan of the movie before, and so this is an amazing opportunity. And the music is incredible, so. The things I'd handle better, I would send my unsent letter. I've started 700 fights if and had many endless nights that I've wasted getting wasted contemplating different ways to suicide. I would write and I would write. And I've tried every food and every drink and every choice and every cheat a thousand times. And I daily eat about a dozen donuts and I don't know why and I don't know what about the story of Phil Connors is something that everyone sort of has grabbed onto? Well, you know, the story of a guy living the same day over and over and over again, number one, it's hilarious because you can do whatever you want and um, uh, uh, the comedic possibilities are endless. Uh, but it also works on another level, kind of like this metaphysical level, you know, where um, what would you do if you had endless second chances? And in some ways, it's a story about how to find happiness in the moment and right now. On the one hand, it's a, you know, a high concept romantic concept. Comedy. It's a mixture of some of my favorite things. I'm a big sucker for comedy, romance, and uh, wisdom, meaning meat in a story. And it's got all of those things, I think. So what's it been like uh, getting to know Andy Carl and getting and sort of building that chemistry? Andy Carl is amazing. Actually, we found this out. I saw him in Alter Boys when I was in high school. <laughs> So I learned a little while ago that um, your leading lady is an Alter Boys fangirl. Barrett was like, oh my gosh, I saw you in Alter Boys when I was in high school. And we have a picture somewhere. I was like, you were in high school. And I was like, close to my 30s. OK, great. I was such a fan of his then. So to get this opportunity, I told a couple of my friends who had gone with me probably four or five times to see that show that I was going to be in this show with him. And everyone, there's a picture floating around on someone's Nokia, I'm sure. What are people in store for if they come to the show? Well, if you love the movie, I think you're going to love this as well. Danny Rubin wrote the movie. He also wrote the book for this. Not that I didn't expect it, but it is really funny. You know, pretty much everything that people love from the movie will be there in front of them. Um, and also, Tim Minchin, has, our composer, has done such an amazing job in taking little individual moments and just exploding them out. I can't say enough that the creatives on this are just geniuses, and I'm not using the word lightly. I love Tim's writing so much. It's so clever. It's verbose. It's really actable, I think, which is why I love it. If you think that you've taken the measure of the movie and think you know the Broadway show, uh, come and see it because it is full of surprises and delights and you will walk away with that same grin on your face and that same desire to change your life as you did uh, coming out of the movie. It's Groundhog Day! Oh!